Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and on this channel we talk about building your spiritual confidence so you can listen to your intuition and read your tarot cards with ease. If you are looking to connect with your tarot deck then you come to the right place and today we are going to be taking a deep dive into the four of wands. I am going to be talking about the astrology, tarot timing, Kabbalah, the tree of life. We're going to look at the elements. We're going to look at all the symbolism on this card that makes it so significant. I can't wait to get started because this is a fabulous card. In fact, all of the tarot cards are fabulous and I'm doing a, a series on all of them. So if you've just joined me and you're at the Four of Wands, have a little look on my channel. I'll make sure there's a link down in the description box to take you right back to the beginning because we are going all the way through the deck and every single card is going to have a deep dive to help you understand the deeper symbolism. Today, it's the Four of Wands. Let's spin the camera around and take a look. So let's have a look at the Four of Wands. Now, the Sheet, cheat sheets I'm going to refer to because I can't remember all of it. I can remember bits of it, but I can't remember all of it. And here's the thing. When you're hearing me talk about the cards, don't forget, this is my full-time job. And, and, um, and I always have cheat sheets. Everything I do is have cheat sheets. And when we start our uh, high tea and tarot, which I'm so excited about. I've set the dates. Um, Prince Charming's just doing all the, um, um, oh, what do you call it? The, the time zones for me. So I can give you all the different time zones as much as I can to help you understand when we might be meeting. And of course, I'm going to have a replay, which will be available on the channel for those of you who miss it. Um, but, oh, how did I get onto that? Um, I always I always have notes with me. So when I sit and do these tutorial groups, believe me, I'm going to be sitting in my library nook, which is on the other side of my office, and I'm going to be um, having my books at hand because some things stick and some things don't. And the thing you need to remember is we're not at school. We're doing this to submerge ourselves in the cards so we get the meaning as a whole that you can look at it and say yep I know the meaning of that card and I find looking at the symbolism really helps me with that and then I don't want you parroting off Arthur Waite's um, description as a teacher a good teacher says turn this into your meaning and I don't mean going off and having a meaning that's being pulled out of the air I mean having a meaning that is reflective of the traditional meaning of the card whether you're reading Rider Waite Smith or another card so they're my cheat sheets and they're available in my Etsy shop should you choose to purchase them and I'll make sure there is a link down in the description box for you to just click on and go over and have a sticky beak all right so Let's have a look at the Four of Wands. Now, the four, is, the four is Golden Dawn title, the Lord of Perfected Work. So this is, again, the titles of the titles of the spiritual titles of the cards that were given by the Golden Dawn when they started to unpack the tarot. And the, this particular title is the title for every four of wands, whether it is Arthur Waite's work or somebody else's work. And in the Golden Dawn, everybody that joined was encouraged to create their own tarot deck, which I think is pretty amazing. I think that I think it would have been just such an amazing time. I would have loved it all. And oh well, I guess you make the best of it, don't you? I think I sometimes think, oh, I missed it. It would have been so wonderful. And I would have loved it. But um. Hey, I've got a YouTube channel. <laughs> All right, so let's get going. So, four of wands, numerology of four, re reliability and stability. So we're talking about the doubling up of two. And what's two? 
the balance of opposites, finding balance. So we're bringing two lots of finding balance together to create reliability and stability. And you can see that here in the four of wands, you've got the two wands either side coming together with the beautiful wreath of, of celebration to create this idea of, of family and stability and reliability that comes from that. So let's have a look at the other fours. So I like to look at these fours because it gives you a bit of a sense of how the deck all fits together. So we've got cups, four of cups, and four of swords, and four of pentacles. Now, these will have their own videos, but and of course, you already know I've, I've completed the Major Arcana, and so you can go and look at the video of Emperor and Death, where I have talked about numerology of four and the meanings with these cards. But we're looking at four here, stability of home, family, and a celebration of that. Here's four. You're almost too scared to let go of your stability and take on any new idea or challenge because it's going to make you challenge what you think in your own mind is your stability. Take time out, head, heart, gut, to create the stability that you need. And of course, Four of Pentacles, this is my favourite card. This is the Uncle Scrooge card. You are too stable. You are taking too, you know, you are hanging on to everything too much for fear of loss of your stability. If we think about the Emperor card, of course, he is the beacon of stability. He creates the stability of the empire. Just make sure you can see these cards and I'm not right off the screen. He's the beacon of stability. And then we've got um, the death card, which is the certainty of death. We all know that it's coming for us. And then, of course, you've got the um, reactions of the people in front of death as he, re as he, rides, um, as he rides through the people. And I've got in-depth videos of those, so I'm not going to go into in-depth here, but just for you to see how the fours fit together. So let's have a look at the four of wands. So... If we look at the timing, we're looking at Venus in Aries, 11th of um, April 11th to April 20. So we're in the third decan. And again, these are arbitrary dates that are set out by astrologers. And again, it depends who you follow with the dates can sort of shift a little bit depending on, you know, people's opinion. Because as we know, these things have evolved over time. Um, astrology was somebody's idea to make sense of the world and give it certainty. If you think about it like that, then you start to realise that it's just somebody saying, you know what, I'm pretty sick of not knowing what's going to happen next. So I reckon it all comes from the sky and they started to look at planets and and try to understand and fit them into the seasons and the shifting in the world and use them for prediction. And sometimes it can be pretty accurate. I know my husband's and my synastry chart was pretty accurate. So it can be spookily accurate like that too. So we're looking at uh, Aries and the third decan here is where and you can just see here um, the Four of Wands. Now, this is in my astrology cheat sheets. So you can buy a copy of this for yourself. And in the cheat sheets, I've also done some extra sheets where I've dissected each section of the wheel. And I've got enlarged cards for you around the edge. Because unfortunately, I can only fit this on here. And even though I used high resolution cards... It's very hard to get them when they get that small to be easy to see. So you can even use it, if it um, on your computer and expand it and see the cards that way if you need to. But we're looking at the third decan of Aries. 
And when we do five of wands, we're going to travel all the way around the wheel. And this is where it gets really interesting because we talk about wands as being fire, which uh, element fire. So straight away, we're going to be looking at the astrological signs that are the element of fire. And the next one, of course, is Leo around here. And we find, what do we find? The five of wands. So as we travel around the wheel, you will see that we pick up the fire signs. So we've got, um, we've got, oh, my brain's stopped. Sorry. So we've got Venus in Aries, 3rd Decan, 11th of April to April 20. So there's your timing. Um, then we've got the Seraphot of Chesed. Gee, I hope I'm saying these properly. <laughs> Seraphot uh, of Chesed, which is mercy, meaning the meaning of kindness and love between people and humanity, having mercy towards others and towards the self. So again, this is about um, this idea of balance in terms of recognising that an overload of hate or an overload of kindness is not right. You need that balance of mercy, which is recognising that someone's done the wrong thing, but having mercy in the way that you punish that wrong thing, if that makes sense. Bringing things back into stability, constantly thinking that this is the fire element, so the element of strength and activity and blood and life force and how we reflect that into stability and how this has been interpreted here in this card is the celebration of home and family. So you've got the castle in the background, which again is a symbol of stability. Um, you've got the small group of figures and the figures um, are representing happiness and, um, and, and, um, and a party and a celebration of life, which again is reflective of your tree of life and Kabbalah meaning. You've got two figures here that appear to be male and female. And then down here, I mean, you could argue that these are the children, this idea of family. You've got a bridge here, which is the is symbolic of taking happiness home. The castle, this is the largest castle in the tarot deck. And it's protection, your safe place, your family home. In fact, you can see there's a little house sitting up here on top of the battlements. So again, you're in a very safe place in this card. Garlands are always about success. If you think about the five of wands, which we're coming to, he, you know, he's triumphant in his success. I'll show you five of wands so you can visualize it. Oh, I'm so organized. I've got my cards sitting right here. Sorry, not five of wands. Oh, I take it back. Six of wands. See his wreath, he's triumphant. And of course, you have the triumph of the end of the major arcana where you have the, the large wreath that shows, uh, that is symbolic of the, um, the completion of a life's journey in a positive way. So you've got a wreath, um, the yellow sky, radiance, um, enthusiasm, too much enthusiasm, joy. And, you know, I talked about the story of Icarus, but here in particular, we're looking at radiant sun, happiness, um, enthusiasm, getting out there and enjoying life. So stability, um, homecoming, celebration, joyful events. These are all the things I've written on the cheat sheet. Um, the first stage of the project is complete, I've written. So that's interesting. If you're looking at the cards flowing through, actually, let's have a look at that now. If you're looking at the cards flowing through, oh, this might be something I might do with all of them. You've got the beginning of an idea. You're reflecting on what you're going to do, the goals you're going to take. You are reflecting on how far you've come and you are celebrating that you've completed what it is that you've set out to do. 
So that's interesting as well. I might actually do a series on that where we look at the stories that flow through the cards. It's another way of helping you to learn the cards. So that is the Four of Wands. Gorgeous card, beautiful and positive. So it's a beautiful, you know, lovely positive note to finish this particular video on. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Don't forget to check can't speak don't forget to check the description box because down there there will be links to all of my free goodies i don't just have things for sale i also have free goodies down there um, connect with your deck.com forward slash newsletter will take you to my newsletter sign up um, i have a members area with lots of goodies you can download so do become part of my community. I would love to have you. And if you've made it to the end of the video, that's fantastic. And I will see you in the next one, which will be the Five of Wands. See you then. Bye-bye.